you how to find sample correlation coefficient r from a given data set this is a random number so assume it's a random number so there are this is x independent variable this is y dependent variable so it can represent anything so let's take a look here how can we find the correlation coefficient r given that we have a computation formula actually so what is that formula look at this so this is the formula r is equal to as you see this big you know crazy looking one but it's really simple if you just pay attention what i'm doing here it's really you know simple so what is n n is basically number of pairs actually one two three four five six seven so n is seven it's not because this is seven but there are seven pairs seven ordered pairs so that's basically n seven the notice that we have a sum of x we have sum of x y we have sum of x sum of y so we have to create well if i add all of this is going to be sum of x if i add all of this is going to be sum of y but this is a multiplication x times y so i have to create another column actually not only that if i go down here i do see there is x square so i have to actually and there is a y square so i need to create a bunch of column here down here so let's take a look here if i actually create a bunch of column actually so as you see so i'm going to actually fill this out here so x times y xy then of course i need another one for x square and i need another one for y square i think that would be nice enough so well what is x times y you just multiply these two you just multiply oh by the way it can be horizontal or it can be vertical no matter which way it should be the same thing so i just multiply that and as you clearly see two times zero is zero one times five is five two times two is four 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 6 is 30, and 6 times 7 is 42. Good. Let's finish this up here. So x square. Notice that x square means we are going to square that. We cannot add before we square. So we must square, then we add. Okay. So x square. So basically 0 square, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, and so on. So we do 0 square is 0. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, and 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, and 6 square is 36. Okay, then we go to the y square. So same thing, 2 square, 5 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 6 square, 7 square. So 2 square is 4, 5 square is 25, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 6 square is 36, 7 square is 49. Very good. So let's actually work it out. So what we need, we basically need this time is the sum of x. Notice that we need sum of x. So sum of x is equal to, you add all of this, it's going to give you 21. I did a little ahead of time. And this is sum of y. Is going to give you 29 again I just add all of this here 21 add all of this is 29 now I'm going to add all of this is going to give me sum of x y the product is going to give us 106 then sum of x square is going to give me 91 and of course, obviously, sum of y square is going to give me 143. Bingo! We did the hard work. Now, all we do, we just substitute it here. Okay, that's all, basically. So, how do you substitute? We are going to actually put down that n is 7 times x sum of xy. Look at this. This is sum of xy. So, that is basically right here. I can use the pencil that's this one here so it's 106 106 minus sum of x so again what is the sum of x i can use the pencil sum of x is the top one here and so are sum of y as you clearly see so sum of x is 21 and you can use parentheses you don't use parentheses sum of y is 29 it's okay and i go down here i need a square root n is 7 open parenthesis sum of x square let me show you that sum of x square is basically this one here and sum of 
twice square is this one here. So sum of x square, I get 91 minus, well, you can put a parenthesis, minus sum of x to the power 2. So sum of x, remember this time is sum of x. So I want to make sure this one inside, that one inside is referring to that one here. Okay. So that would give 21 square. So I can put down 21 square. You need a parenthesis. You don't need a parenthesis. It's up to you. Again, another square root. So we have to be very careful about all this is square root. So in this case is 7, open parenthesis, sum of y square, clearly as you see, sum of y square is referring to 143, 143 minus sum of y, which is again, I'm referring to here, maybe I'm going to use this one here, sum of y is going right there, okay? So sum of y in this case is what? 29, 29 square. Okay, so we did the hard job. All we do, we just plug this in in the calculator now, okay? So we just plug it in here in the calculator. So any simple calculator should work for this one here, okay? Any simple calculator should work for this one here. So if I do use any calculator, I should get R is equal to 0 0.75. Okay, R is equal to 0 0.75. Okay, so I'm going to type this in a calculator. It's better, safe. I have to use N over D in a TI 30 axis multi view calculator. And as I see, 7 open parentheses, 106 close parentheses, or it's just use multiplication, doesn't matter, minus. 21 times as you see I'll not use parentheses here. This calculator is very nice actually, okay? Over second x square is going to give you the square root and 7 times 91 minus 21 square square you can just put it like this. We have to go a little bit off. Remember if you don't go a little bit off you are under this radical so you have to go to the right, you know, cursor to the right and you're out from the radical, then we need another radical here, okay? So then we do seven, open parenthesis, or it's just multiply, 143 minus 29 square. Bingo, done, we enter. Look at that, it's the same thing we have, 0 0.75, and it's actually matching. So this is a correlation coefficient, and it's moderate, it's, as you see, it's a positive, so it's going up, it's pretty good actually, you know, uh, strong correlation as you see down here, okay? Thank you.